What is up guys? In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to fetch REST API with JavaScript and HTML. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the fetch API to make request to a RESTful API and retrieve data from it. We'll be using JavaScript and HTML to create a simple web page that fetches data from a RESTful API and displays it on the page. Okay, let's get started. As you can see, I have created a simple HTML page. So, exclamation mark and press enter. Okay, within the body, I'm going to create a div, div. So after this, I'm going to write the script. So script, I'm going to use fetch method. So fetch, and we are going to pass the API. So, so I'm going to Google and search JSON placeholder this the site so json placeholder.org open it there are a lot of apis so you can see get post and a lot of stuffs today we are going to use this api post api click it this is the respond of the api here you can see a lot of items id title content image thumbnail status lot of things right so i'm going to copy the url so we're going to paste it in the vs code so then we get response so i call it res and i'm going to lock it so console lock res so i'm starting the server i'm going to check the console so control shift i so this is the response here so let's open it there are a lot of stops let's open body it says readable stream okay so now we need to convert it to json so res dot json let's check the results now you can see the array it has 100 items and you can see the id uh, and uh, url title everything right okay now we are going to get all the data from this uh, respond so again vs code we don't need this console anymore i'm going to delete it so response we are going to return response then we are converting it to json so json and it should be in the curly braces okay then data i call it data so data is an array so i'm going to use for each so for each so data inside the curly braces i'm going to create a variable so const i'm going to call it element so here i'm going to use template literal so backtick so let's create the element let's create h4 h4 so here dollar sign curly braces inside that data and we have title right we have created our element so we need to insert the element within this div so so what i'm going to do is document the query selector we are going to use query selector right we have one div so here i'm going to say div so inside this div i'm going to insert the element so i'm going to say insert adjacent html so insert yeah so inside the bracket I'm going to mention the location so I'm going to say before end so before end it means this is the ending tag before that it should be here right then I'm going to pass this element so comma second parameter is element okay after that I'm going to catch the error so catch error 
I'm going to log it in console. Console dot log error. Okay, let's check our page. We are having an error. It says then is not defined. Okay, let's check. Okay, it should be a full stop, not comma. Save it. Let's check again. And another error. Data dot for it is not a function. Okay. The e should be capital. Save it. Yeah. Now it's working fine. Right? We have added title. Then I'm going to add other things. So then image. So img source. So dollar sign. So data dot thumbnail. And alt property. I'm going to use a title dollar sign data dot title and I'm going to mention the width and height so width 100 height 100 then I'm going to display the content so inside paragraph data dot content let's close the tag okay let's check it now just you can see we have title an image and the content okay let's add some tiles so so style inside that div background color and i'm going to select one color uh, then padding let's say 15 pixel okay let's check it now yeah okay it's working fine okay guys thank you for watching if you are new to my channel please subscribe and like this video and if you have any doubts please write down in the comment section thank you guys see you in the next tutorial